What's up everybody, we're back with another video and today we're going to be pretty much continuing on with yesterday's video. Um, in yesterday's video, we took my 1400 EF canister filter, we filled it with as much ceramic media as we could to see how efficient we could make these filters. So today we're going to be pretty much doing the same thing, but with my FX4 um, media baskets. So I have obviously the media baskets themselves. I've got some more All Pond Solution ceramic rings, and I've got some coarse and some fine filter foam, um, as well as some filter floss, which we might use as well. Uh, this is not sponsored, by the way, if anyone thinks it is. So what we're gonna do is pretty much we're gonna take a look at how the filter works. So if I just move you guys closer. So if you can see, you have a lot of fluff. You've got the main media compartment, which is where we're going to be putting the ceramic rings into. And you've got the outside ring. And what happens is the water flows through down the pump. So it goes down one of these. And similarly to the FX4, it rises up, but it doesn't rise up through the middle. It rises up from around the sides and water will filter into the sides of this uh, outer ring, over the outer ring and down through the media chamber. So what we have is sponge on the outside and a media on the inside. Uh, so we're gonna pretty much do a little DIY with these uh, pond filters. We've got coarse and fine. Coarse is for the heavier materials, the bigger materials, and then the finer one is for the lighter materials. So pretty much what we're gonna do is smush them together like this with the coarse on the outside and the fine on the inside and it'll pretty much go into uh, the media basket like that. Uh, as well as potentially putting in some filter floss as the final polisher as the water goes down and it goes and gets shot back out of the filter. So yeah, it's the pretty much the simple same thing but we just want to see how much media this can actually hold uh, compared to the 1400 EF. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting all of this filter stuff together and then we're going to put the filter media in. actually this took around seven and a half boxes of media at around 400 grams each there's nearly about three kilos in here of ceramic media which is a lot more than I thought it'd be I thought it'd only be about two kilos um, so three kilos in here and then 4.5 kilos in the 1400 EF the difference is the 1400EF is purely a filter uh, media canister, so it's not got as much mechanical filtration, which is the sponges, really funny to see. Uh, which are all the sponges which just help to take all the gunk out of the water, as well as the little bits of um, debris, and send the water back in looking cleaner, uh, which this does very well. So, in total, we have 750 liters worth of filtration, which is pretty good. Uh, you may not have around a kilo of media per 100 liters of water, uh, and sometimes you'll need two kilos of media if you've got larger fish, koi ponds, and whatnot. But that being said, 
these two filters could probably run the 600 liter tank I'm planning on getting, uh, hopefully before the end of summer, because in that tank we'll only have six Paku, the Albino Gourami, and the Silver Arowana, which when we compare it to what we've had running on the pool pond, which is pretty much, the, it's pretty much exactly the same stocking. Uh, I had 2,000 to 1,000 EF or pollen solution canister filters that they weren't, um, weren't modified to have as much media stuffed into them as possible. This and the 1,400 EF, which are going to be used now to run the same stocking, but just on a tank, is going to have a larger filtering capacity, which is absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the canister filter, fill it up with water and see if I can get it all run and set up. So I will come back to you guys in a bit. You can't even see my face. Uh, and we will take a look at it once it's all set up and running. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right. We have finished setting up the Fluval FX4. Um, it took a bit longer than I anticipated. I made... Um, just because I didn't have the manual, so I had to go on YouTube just to learn how to set it up. It has to prime at the moment, so it's not actually running. Um, but hopefully it will in the next few minutes, half an hour, I think. Um, so I'll probably show it running in another video. But at least we've got 750 litres worth of filtration or filtering capacity. So I think the pool pond itself, which is what everything is hook up, hooked up to, um, is only about 300, between 300 and 400 liters, because uh, I don't fill it up all the way. So that's more than double the capacity, and plus there is a 1000 EF filter, as well as the 1400 and the FX4 filter, actually filtering the pool pond. So a lot of filtration for not a lot of water, but this is all just in preparation for the other tanks we get. Like I said, one way to set up a tank instantly is to be prepared. Um, so you make sure that all your filters are pre-cycled if you can get them earlier. Um, and just pretty much just get whatever you need ready. All right, so that is that. That is today's video. I don't actually know if you can see me in the darkness, but I will catch you in the next video. So thanks for watching, keep safe, and peace out, guys. Thank you.